So today we're going to tell you some stuff that the dealerships definitely wouldn't want the average fellow to know because then they wouldn't be able to charge you big money for the fix. But um, this guy, no gauges, no tail light, sled's running like crap. We're going to show you an easy fix. Boys and girls, today we're working on an Articat again. Luckily today not mine, we just used mine to try some trial and error stuff. But uh, my buddy Dexter here, he's uh, he brought his crossfire down this morning and we decided that we were going to fix it and figure out what was wrong with it. He was having a, a bogging issue, but his main issue started, he unloaded it off his truck, it was working fine. Um, his gauge cluster died completely. He had no tail light, no brake light, no nothing. Headlight still worked. So, a bit of a head scratcher, right? You probably hear him off in the background. He's up in the field here playing now, but anyway, um, I thought, well, if we unplug the cluster completely on my sled, it makes no difference in the way the sled performs. You can still drive it, it still works with the cluster unplugged. However, when I unplugged my cluster, my tail light remained working. So, right away that was kind of throwing a red flag for me, but we tried a few different things. We tried putting my fuel pump on his because I thought maybe he might be having the regulator issue. We beat around the bush a little bit before, you know, we actually turned our brains on and said, all right, it's obviously an electrical issue. It's, you know, there was a few different people in forums that we read said, oh, it's a stator or it's a stator wall. That's like the most expensive part. So we don't want to start with that. Um, his harness looked absolutely great. Like, so we unplugged a few things. Nothing seemed to help. We unplugged his handlebars. Nothing seemed to help. Um... You'll hear, here he's coming now. He drives like a maniac. But we figured the problem out. And uh, pretty simple. So anyway, after a little more head scratching, I said, well, your tail light's not working. Let's take the goddamn tail light apart. So we took the tail light apart, we unplugged it, and the thing is just ripping. How's she working? It works great now, all because of a stupid fucking tail light. Isn't that awful? So, you know, thing with sleds is two strokes. That bogging symptom can be a lot of things. It's all because... Water. Well, look inside nope, the tail nope. light. The tail light soaks. No, it's all because instead of staying old school and putting the wires... Yeah, they got the wires run through the chassis on these. Instead of putting these. the wires right here where every slit known to man is, they anyway. put them underneath the tunnel so they chafe on everything. So that was the right one that we unplugged, was it? I don't know. It works. Well, pop your hood here. I'll show them where the plug's at. So, if you lose power to your gauge cluster on a crossfire and your tail light goes out, you might want to wait till she cools off or take the muffler off completely because the plug-in is down in here and it's got three wires onto it. Just unplug that baby. Look, steam the camera right up. And away you go. Crossfire is fixed again. 